kids today. We, we played a very, very good Virginia club. I, I think it was probably a lot sloppier, you know, defensively than, uh, than, than either one of our staffs would have, would have liked. But, uh, you know, just a long, grinded out type of, of ball game where, you know, we competed pretty well at home plate with the bats. Um, I tell you, everything that we saw on a scatter report really came to fruition with their offense. I, I think they're an outstanding offensive team. They don't swing at balls. They don't strike out. They use the middle of the field. They get barrel to, to almost everything. They're, they're a really good team, but our kids, I thought, really stepped up today. Um, you know, I mentioned the sloppy defensive play. You know, if we make that one play on the infield, that double play ball, I think Kendall's, you know, life is a lot easier, and I, I thought he competed very well for us today against really, you know, arguably one of the better offensive teams in the country. So we needed his leadership. I, I was really proud of him. It's really easy when you don't convert that double play or make that play defensively in the outfield, you know, to kind of drop your head and, and, and get disappointed and lose your focus. But I thought Kendall got right back out there and, and did a great job for us. And, uh, and uh, you know, again, offensively, I just thought we had really good at-bats. And, uh, you know, these guys got a, a few hits. And, uh, it made it easier for us by stretching the lead out. But there, there's no question that Virginia is an outstanding club, and they they will be ready to play tomorrow night, and they'll have one of their you know main guys on the mound, and, and we'll, we'll have to grind again for nine, in, nine innings and see what happens. Okay, thanks. Any questions for Coach? Stephen? Fred Long, Daily Journal, Adam. I mean, six hits, uh, career high. I don't think any of them were cheap. What was, what was working for you today? Uh, a couple of them were pretty lucky, but. Uh, <laughs> I got a couple pitches to hit and bounce balls. Uh, um, CT squared the ball up all night and uh, all day. And he it wasn't so uh, just fortunate. But uh, it's just it, it's baseball and uh, found some holes and got a couple of falls. So. Mike Bond from 30 and Ledger. Uh, Adam, have you ever had a game like this, six hits in the Little League, two ball, whatever, maybe? Have you ever had that many hits in a game? No, not, not, not that I remember. Uh, I think I had two uh, five game hit. Uh, Five hit games, excuse me, uh, in high school, but there were six. You know, I've been waiting several days of the news. Adam, I, I think you're two away now from the single season record. Uh, just any thoughts on that? No, I didn't know that, but uh, hopefully I can get a couple more then. <laughs> Hunter, just this whole postseason, uh, your swing's been so good, and just these last few games, especially another three hit, four hit game in this case for you. I mean, you got to be feeling good up there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think the whole club actually, you know, hit very well right now. Seen the ball very good. Um, you know, like I said, and always have said, uh, it's all, it starts with the rhythm at the plate. You know, and uh, once you have rhythm at the plate, you know, the, you know it's going to work very well for us and uh, for each individual. Um, you know, I think we're seeing the ball great right now. Uh, <clears throat> laying off bad pitches, not striking out a whole lot. So, I think that's what's working for us and getting people on base. Matthew. Adam, the, your coach to your right was pretty adamant about the fact that you got drafted in that late, that you relaxed a little bit more. Is there anything to that? And yeah, you feel a little so. more relaxed out there? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, anytime you get some, uh, I guess, stuff off your mind and uh, some pressure off of you, then uh, I mean, it, it's always going to be more relaxing. I think that goes for everybody that uh, got drafted this year. And Hunter, same for you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a huge relief for you know, all of us, really. Um, you know, that thing gets off our chest, and uh, it's one that one of the best things to worry about. Okay. Well, Mark question was asked. Okay. Kendall, uh, after that, that kind of rough start, you got the two strikeouts. How much did that kind of calm you down and, and get back at the dugout too? Yeah. Um, for me to just keep competing, no matter what happens, is is what <clears> I'm going to do. And of course, I didn't have my best stuff today. Uh, that, was, that was definitely day one. Um, but for me to to keep battling and, and get our team to the fifth and sixth inning, and man, hats off to these guys and hitters and, and how well coach has done with them that. Uh, to put up some runs, and I, I kind of had that feeling early on that we were going to score runs. So for me to continue to get outs and move the game along was what I was focusing on. And you know, it's not how I wanted to start, but uh, to settle in a little bit and get into a rhythm and, and get outs there for a, a few innings and move the game along is, is really good for our team. Kendall, you uh, you you went against a team that's been pretty good with two strikes, with two outs, getting runners in the scoring position, and got a lot of key outs, both you and. Uh, uh, Mitchell, can you just talk about your pitching approach? Uh, so there were a couple of pitches you were working today that worked well, and 
keeping guys off balance. Can you just talk about your approach? Yes, sir. They did a great job uh, at the plate, the discipline, man. And when they got two strikes, it was it was really hard to put some guys away and to keep pitching and to make pitches. I, I really had to go to my breaking ball today, and that's something if you know me pitching wise, I don't use very much. But today, that's one thing that I could locate and I was commanding. So for me to make an in-game adjustment and to go to that was was big for me. And uh, you know they, they didn't strike out much, but uh, for there's some pitches I threw that I usually get swings on that they they took for balls. And hats off to them. They did a great job at the plate tonight and today. Mark. 